Thanks for tuning in to the Palm Beach Podcast, a weekly show highlighting people making a positive impact in our community. With your hosts, sports chiropractor and athletic trainer, Dr. James Spencer, photographer and art director, Mike Jones. Our show is brought to you by Pomp House Coffee Roasters, Opportunities in Delray Beach, and the Lotus Travel Company for retreats and tours in Palm Beach County. Hello, and welcome to another pop-up Palm Beach podcast at Hospitality 2021. My name is Mike Jones, hanging out with Dr. James Spencer. Always a pleasure to see you, especially with the taco shirt on today, bro. Had to bust it out because we have a very special guest with us, don't we? (laughs) Especially in the hospitality community. Yeah. So, uh, Craig from Quick Hospitality. Yeah, Craig O'Keefe, Click Hospitality. Thanks for having me on today, guys. Appreciate it. Are you kidding me? It's a pleasure to uh, reconvene and see you again. You know, us working with Lionfish. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's honestly just nothing but positive feedback from all my patients who have been great experience more than anything. Good. I appreciate that. The ambiance, the food's incredible, and uh, they really enjoyed it. I think that's our kind of our whole thing in any project that we're doing is is building a whole experience um everyone can sell gray goose and tito's and serve food but like how are you doing it what is your lighting what is your music like um selection of plates glassware all that kind of stuff is hugely important and then obviously the most important is your employees and i touched on a little bit earlier in the podcast with the hospitality 2021 is like you know, we, we hire for character and we can train everything else. So, I like that. Um, yeah. That's kind of our deal. Yeah. Well, the thing that stuck out with me when we first met was you immediately talked about the chef. Yeah. Like 24-7, yeah. right? Yeah. As like, as you should, it's his menu and. Yeah. It's the, you know, it's, it's like, I'm not, I'm nothing compared to the people that are putting the work in, sure. right? I'm, I'm helping facilitate a lot. Um, the, the chefs, the, the guys and girls that are working there every single day, they literally are the ones that make the difference. And I tell all my employees that through training, through the hiring process, look, this, this, this isn't about me. I'm one person. You guys are the people that are touching everybody that come into this restaurant and affecting not just your restaurant, but our company as a whole. So your friends that are working next door and working at our other properties and opportunities for you to go different places. Um, so it's getting in, you know, getting that full vibe buy-in from everybody is, is hugely important. And as I said, next door, just given these a lot of them are kids you know it's giving these kids a, you know a little taste of like you know how to be a professional how to be an adult but also like what more can we give you than just your normal pre-shift for hey we've got a great special tonight right like what else is going on in your life what else can we give you to to help you succeed and the soup of the day is yeah exactly like we get tired of hearing that we got a wine special tonight yeah. fantastic great yeah. give me that stuff but like what else do you have for me you know well the one thing that i observed uh when we were filming with you guys is is and you know everybody was around kind of training it appeared that everybody knew their role, mm-hmm. but it was also this palpable energy of, of being a part of something bigger than themselves. Yeah. Which, again, I know that's kind of the experience that we'd like to provide. And it was just cool to see um, from a different lens, you know, you guys doing it. Yeah. I, I, you know, I think if anything about, about our company, that's the culture we try to, you know, make available to these people is like, Hey, listen, you, you may not want to, you may not want to start where you are right now, but you got plenty of chances to grow and, and do what you want to do. As long as you got the great attitude, um, you know, that that's key for us. I mean, who wouldn't want to work at Lionfish, right? It's not a bad gig. You know? <laughs> it's, like, so nice. it's a pretty happening place. You feel good when you're in there, right? It's look good, feel good, play good. So you got it. Try to give these, uh, you know, give all those team members that feeling when they're at the, at their place of work. So, and yeah. obviously, uh, the big guy next door, Scott Eddy, is a big fan um, of yeah. your establishments. And yeah. we were laughing with him yesterday that we have chopsticks with our names on. Yeah, them. And, yeah. And he loves that. Um, but talk a little bit about your guys' friendship and your opportunity to come and speak in person. Yeah, so uh, at know, a hybrid Scott, event, it's hard not to meet Scott if you're in the Delray scene. Um, Scott's up and down the Ave all day long. I live right downtown. All my businesses are right here, so I'm also walking everywhere. And of course, he's uh, you know this is what he does. <laughs> um, so you know, getting to know Scott's been great. He's uh, he's incredibly talented guy uh, in his own right and in his own business. So it's nice to link up with someone like that, um, you know, on a professional and friendship basis. Um, and just kind of, you know, give feedback to them too, from him as well. It's nice. You know, he'll tell me, text me sometimes like, Hey man, just had something that wasn't really good. I'm like, Hey, thank you. Appreciate that. You know, uh, let me know. Um, but other times it's also to get good feedback from what, you know, what other people doing and comparatively to what we're doing. Um, and it's nice to have that positive reinforcement too. Um, so it's nice having Scott around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. And then tell the listeners a little bit about what you guys have planned for April. 
Uh, so we just announced today publicly that uh, the Delray Beach Market will be opening on uh, April 24th to the public. Uh, Heck we've yeah. got a ton of really great programming events for that Saturday and Sunday. Uh, very fam family friendly uh, oriented place. Obviously, all the COVID measures. People will be, uh, you know, wearing masks if they're around the common spaces and stuff like that. But we'll have everything from balloon animals, cotton candy machines. Um, aside from this awesome market that's opening itself, there'll be all kinds of other activations going on throughout the weekend. That'll just really be a cool place to hang out and, uh, you know, hopefully promote this destination for Delray Beach. And tell them a little bit about the, the restaurants that are are planning on as far as food variety and what you guys yeah, may have so, in there. The biggest thing we were thinking about while, you know, concepting this market is what is missing in downtown Del Rey. And to us, it was like this kind of great quality product that could be brought to you fast casually instead of, you know, if you go to lunch on the Ave right now, you got to sit down and it's a, you know, your 45 minute hour lunch. Um, not everyone has that time. And if they don't, even if they do have the time, not everyone wants to spend that amount of time at lunch, spot, you know, yeah. something like that. So, uh, so for lunch, dinner, whatever it might be, this is a, this is a really great experience where you're going to be able to, you know, try different, you know, ethnic foods, um, healthy foods and at a reasonable rate in, you know, fa in a faster time period. So everything from Indian food, um, we have a great guy named Manesh who's running a place called Tiffin Box. Uh, he has a place up in West Palm, but it's kind of like, you know, he'll, I don't know if this is right or wrong to say, but it's like the, he's like the Chipotle of, uh, Indian food. So you can, you know, you select <laughs> your, your, your items as you go. It's really, really That's awesome. Good idea. Um, you know, his, uh, his whole concept is, Hey, can let's make a, Let's make Indian cuisine a little more um, approachable for, for, for Americans. So um, he just kind of has designed this really cool menu. Uh, we've got a great Lebanese place coming in, uh, fully vegan options. But then we also have your classics. We've got, uh, you know, a pizza place going in that'll be doing pizza. It's uh, Sicilian, New York style, heroes, meatball subs, all that kind of stuff. Fried chicken, uh, barbecue. There's a, a fresh, uh, fresh fish uh, place called Tip to Tail, which will serve fresh food. Um, you know, and then you'll be able to pick up wine and cheese at the wine, uh, the wine cellar. Perfect. Um, you know, the gentleman, Matthew, who's done that used to run, uh, Italy nationwide. So, you know, his, his development of the, you know, uh, cheese and wine and charcuterie is like, it's so nice. So if you're, let's say you're in there for something to eat, you still want to pick something up for night to go home and cook for the family. You'll be able to do that as well. So it's got retail option as well in there. Beautiful. So really, really cool. Amazing. I know your wife's going to be excited about oh, this. Oh, man. I'm, 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 I'm going to gain 20 pounds in the next two months. No, not even a question. I've been going to the gym twice a day just, just, just getting this. ready for this. Uh, so, you know, it's uh, it's going to be a cool project. There's a ton of artwork uh, throughout art installations that are both, you know, um, you know, 3D stuff, things that are really going to be, you know, imaginative. Uh, I like it. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Well, just going to Lionfish, I could have already told you that I would expect that. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. even, like, the wallpapered ceilings of, like, nautical whatever. Yeah. Like, just the, the extreme attention to detail is always there. Um, so, that's, you know, yeah. stuff that foodies pay attention to. Yeah, I mean, in, in the world that we live in today, the consumer knows as much as the people running it. Uh, <laughs> that's just where we're at, right? Like, I've had people guest of ours say oh i know how much you're paying for this like why are you charging this i'm like oh well fair enough you know like <laughs> I, I, I people are out there they know what's going on so you know for us it's uh you got to be transparent with your customer because they already know what's going on sure uh so the days of kind of getting one buy on people just are, isn't happening so you really do have to put a great product out there uh and as long as you know the tough part about a business is and i tell everybody this you you really can't have off days uh, and you know, I preach that to my management team, my employees, like, listen, if you're having a bad day and you can't be here, like, it's okay not to be here. Um, you know, if you can put it behind you and have a great shift, go for it. But you're, you're not in an off day business. There's so many people. I saw this <laughs> meme going around where this woman was like complaining about her food and the server came up and she's like, no, everything's great. Thank you. And it's like, the truth <laughs> is that's how most people do behave. Yeah. They're not going to tell you when it's bad. They're just not going to come back or they're going to leave a bad review. So um, you know, it, it, it's, it's an everyday business. Um, and, and we really try to make sure that we're, we show up every day for everybody. So you should never judge a restaurant off one visit. Yeah, no. I, I, I completely agree with yeah. you. And a lot of people have the, you know, especially during like those opening couple months are really, really difficult, right? You're still stressing that restaurant so much. Uh, you know, Lionfish as an example, we had 1500 covers, uh, prior to even opening, 
Uh, so knowing like, hey, we got close to 2,000 people showing up ready to come, like, you, you know, it's it can be overwhelming. Sure. That tuna um, pizza had a little uh, oh, yeah. momentum. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the tuna pizza is a fan favorite by far. My wife can't go in there without ordering it. I, I mean, I, I, she'd be embarrassed if we talked about how many cheese he had. <laughs> but yeah. Speaking of your wife, tell yeah. us a little bit about the flight situation. Oh, yeah. So I, I recently, last year, uh, became a certified private pilot. Um, you know, single engine uh, land planes. There's a ton of different variations of, of this that we can get into. But uh, yeah, my wife, a few years ago, I started to have this dream in my you know 30s that I wanted to fly. So um, before I had a chance to kind of back out of that uh, idea, <laughs> she had already enrolled me in the flight school and <laughs> taken me on a little flight. And from that point, I was just completely hooked. And then uh, that became a couple year process of me trying to balance, you know, work, work and, and, you know, getting this training in and flight, you got to fly a minimum of 40 hours plus pass all these exams. It's a lot of work, you know? Um, but, uh, she was, she was awesome and encouraging that process. And to be honest with you, even a lot of my friends haven't flown with me. They're not hip to the small planes. <laughs> she's the best co co-pilot I got. She's, you know, spotting planes like, Oh yeah. You know, she knows how everything <laughs> works. Cause she actually, you know, God bless her. She took the whole ground school with me. So, you know, she That's did cool. like, yeah, she, she knows how everything about how the plane works and everything. So it's, a uh, it's nice that she's up there and feels comfortable with it. You know, otherwise I'm just flying with myself. That's sure. not fun. Well, the, it's a, when you take a pilot's test, it's not so much like what does this button do on the plane? You're learning about like airspace. Yeah, yeah. Like what the symbols on the maps mean. Yeah, for sure. Aerodynamics of the plane. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And, and like I'm not. Everyone knows the throttle makes yeah, it go forward. Yeah, we get it. it. Is, yeah, <laughs> cool. Um, you know, it's just, it is. It's a, it's a lot to learn. And uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, the next step in that progression as well. But it's been a great experience. And she was definitely the the leader of that getting me to to where I am now. So super grateful for that. I like it. Yeah. And, then, and then share also with the listeners how, um, you know, that's really your time to tune out and, and become meditative. Yeah. You know, I, I, there's some pluses and minuses to, to my life, even as I currently live, you know, downtown Delray Beach is where I spend all my time. I live here. My office is here. All of my businesses are within like a five block radius. Uh, so I'm here all the time. And that's part of, you know, I like to consider a part of the success of what we're doing here is um, my availability to our company and our businesses is, and it's, and it's helped out a lot. Um, but I also sometimes find myself spending too much time working and too much. And, and this particular, um, you know, hobby of mine has made me create time for myself uh, uh -huh. to study for that and make sure that I'm spending the time that I need to, you know, it's not just me on the day waking up flying. It's like, you know, I'm following weather forecasts for a week beforehand. Um, you know, I'm, I, I gotta go to bed early the night before. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a whole thing. Um, hydrate. <laughs> yeah. It's all that, right. I can't be feeling bad. So no drinking, all that kind of stuff. It's, yep. it's a whole thing. And, uh, you know, luckily on that note, she, you know, my wife, Sabina keeps me, you know, we're at the gym every day. She keeps me eating healthy, all that stuff. So it's a, it, that's hugely important. But for those, for those hours that I'm able to, you know, even during the planning for the flight and then driving down and getting to the airport and doing my pre-flight checks and all that kind of stuff and actually going out there and flying, it's some of the most free time I have for myself. And it's, you know, I really have to unplug from work. So it's, it's a, it's a great opportunity. I would suggest anybody that's like, you know, got a, got a pretty overwhelming schedule. You find something to do for yourself that you can really unplug. We talked about this a little yeah. bit, having your phone and iPhone watches and all that kind of stuff, uh, which I, I, I just can't see myself using the watch. I, me neither. I, I, it's me too, neither. the phone is already too much for me. <laughs> Adding it to my wrist is the last thing I need. As it's buzzing. Yeah. It's like, I, I, I just, I can't do it. I don't think that's for me. So it's a great time to unplug from the world that we live in and kind of, uh, you know, experience a little bit of your own time again. Well, speaking yeah. of time, we can't thank you enough for coming on the show. Yeah. And I got to ask one more yeah. quick yeah. question. Yeah. Share a couple of thoughts about Hospitality 2021. Um, you know, I, 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 I told Scott this when I first said that I would do this with him. Uh, I thought it was a great opportunity to uh, not not for me to speak because I don't really care to hear myself talk. But it's mostly to hear from the other people uh, that are involved in this, um, you know, environment as well they're coming from so many different walks, so many different places, all related to the, the hospitality industry. Um, but we can, the more that we can share with each other about, you know, the positives and the ways that we're growing and getting better and able to keep moving, you know, we're all going to get better from it. Um, and, and learning from other people is such a big part of what we do. So I was most happy to do it, not to just share my own experiences with our company, but to hear from everybody else as well. And I think most everybody that's 
tuning in, listening, hearing, and, and involved in it feel the same way about it. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a, that's, that's the biggest plus you can take out of this is learning from other people around you. you know? It's a beautiful think tank. Yeah. Sure well, I know is. when we saw the schedule and that you were on the lineup, we, we invited ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I love um, it. Well, thank you. I yeah. Cause we it. wanted to come in here. You speak, you know, we come from hospitality families yeah. Yeah. and uh, we love what you do. So, well, I appreciate it. You guys have been great and uh, really gracious with our company and with me as well. So thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Our pleasure. Yeah, Have yeah. a good day, man. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Later. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of the Palm Beach Podcast. Our show is brought to you by Pump House Coffee Roasters, Opportunities in Delray Beach, and the Lotus Travel Company for retreats and tours in Palm Beach County.